a fucking broken wagon and you're hiding in there. <laughs> Are you it's moving broken. forward? Oh, I'm sorry. A wagon that clearly made it unscathed through the bushwhacking <laughs> and drag it through, through the pathless woods. Thanks to my yeah. driving. I can't wait for you guys to go back and inspect that shit to see what kind of damage you've done. We were hiding. We'll we'll just have to steal the horses from the paladins. We're hiding in the bushes. Unless they're like paladin mounts and can't be stolen. Alright, so you guys are. We're hiding in the brush, waiting for Malik's word to say it's okay to go. What are you guys? Is Malik again? Me. (laughs) Malik. Right. Been a while, I'm hopped up on cough syrup. I think I was hopped up on cough syrup the last time I DM'd for you guys, too. I think you were, too. Probably. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hate working with children. Just fucking kill me now. Um. Seriously. Seriously, just end it. End it for me. Um. Alright, so you're in the woods. You're hiding. Um. Malik, what are you looking for? It sounds like people are waiting on your word. What is it you're doing that well, will told, provide you a word to give? I told the boss to stay still and get onto those those bushes over there. Well, I'm checking out how many of there are. Alright, um... Duly noted, you're you're fully Australian this time. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. Brooklyn accent's kind of hard to do. Are you from Brooklyn? Not originally, so I don't have the accent. I'm from Long Island. All right, in Long Island. If you, if you ever hear the the Han- North Hamptons of Long Island, that's halfway close to where I grew up. To drink alcohol. In the, the I'm gonna need some. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am noting. Let's Good do this job shit. noting. All right. Thanks. So. You guys are not particularly close to the road. Like, it was a... You guys took a hard... Whatchamacallit. Right. right into the trees. But it wasn't immediately, like, right on the side of the road. So you're not very close to it. And... We're waiting to see if the so be paladins are gonna follow us. Yeah, They're so, gonna so, follow us. <laughs> not necessarily. So those would-be paladins... Or possibly be paladins, however you want to word that. They were far off when you guys spotted them. You got a good head start into there. Um, however, they have been continuously moving as you have been up to your shenanigans, moving quite slow through the woods. And they made it up the road. Um, from where you are, Malik, it's probably like 25 minutes after you guys all figured all this shit out. The paladins kind of get to where you turned in, up into the woods initially. And, um... At that point in time, you, see, you do see, you can't actually identify them as paladins. You're calling them paladins now, because you guys fucking calling them paladins. You guys have not identified this shit yet. <laughs> Which leads <laughs> but me they to are some people. Chaotic evil bandits. Which leads me to the first question, from my perch atop the highest tree in the highest forest. Can I identify them? Are they wearing... Uh, have you ever been to Rel? Have I ever been to Rel? Urel. Urel. Um, probably Just not. Rel. The Y is silent. Probably not. Okay. Then you, from your distance, um, and your limited knowledge, um, you definitely know that these are some well-plated people. Their armor is very shiny. Um, and they are wearing some type of white tabard. Um, the icon on it you can't see. Um, they do have white capes along with it. Um, but because you don't know who they are, you, or you don't know what the Paladins of Rel are, you can still make some good assumptions, but you're still not sure. Um, but they are now stopped and glancing kind of towards the woods. Okay, I haven't touched my mouse in a while. They're still glancing towards the woods, kind of. They, they appear to be, like, they've broken formation and, and kind of seem to be talking amongst themselves, although you certainly cannot hear from this distance. You're just guessing from body language and gesturing. How many? Um. Oh shit! How many were there? Hold on. Let me pull out my word doc. Uh, there are eight. Um. 
Right. They haven't appeared to. Uh, some people are gesturing back up the road. Other people's are ge other people are gesturing uh, back towards Lysium, and most of them, however, seem to be glancing towards the woods as if they're looking to figure out what the hell is going on. <laughs> it's You're obvious totally they've seen what you've all. done. Yeah, it's obvious that they've seen what you've done. Um, I'm just gonna wait. I mean, do they look like they really know what they're doing, like they're skill trackers, or are they just kind of fumbling around beating the bush with their swords or something? And they're not beating any bushes, they're just kind of sitting on the road. It looks like they might be in debate about what to do about okay. this. Good question. Are they beating around the bush? <laughs> All I know is there's some bush involved. Only with their lovers. Okay. I restate my point. Um. <laughs> what have was we, your point? Sorry, have we been able to tell if these were actually paladins or not? Yeah. No, Malik's never actually been to Rel. Um, so he's not 100% sure what the paladin getup looks like. Do the paladins travel? Not really. They stay in Rel. Um, because of her cooperation with the Church of Rel. Um, and the fact that they really haven't argued when rel officials have come in to say things. Um, the paladins mostly stay out of it as it respects the boundaries. Okay. They know that right now with the way the landscape is, they can't just walk in to Hearth and take it, because it's a little bit more isolated. Okay, so they've never been to Stone or Arrest? Uh, not in any numbers that would make them noticeable. I mean, there might have been one or two that had escorted somebody, but not necessarily ones that you would have seen. Okay. okay. I mean, they look like to what you, as a human being who has heard of paladins, they look like what you think paladins ought to look like. Whether they're, whether they're paladins or not, they look like they know what they're doing. Yeah. Um... Eventually, uh, they turn to follow the rather beaten path that the caravan <laughs> has left behind in your haste to get to the woods, and they begin heading north towards the woods. So deeper toward us. Yeah, they, they've started to turn toward you. The, the woods are not right on the road. The woods are right. north of the road by a... Yeah chunk of time, but because of how far off the paladins were when you started to notice them, um, you guys had time to get out there before they had time to get to where you guys turned off at. Are all, all, all eight of them heading over, or did they split up? Uh, no, they're all heading up the road together. They're back in formation. And are they all on horseback, or is there like a carriage or anything? No, they're marching. Oh, they're marching? Okay. Oh! Are they close enough for us that are hiding in the bushes to see? No. You guys are hiding. Okay. Malik was the scout of our call, correct? Yes. Yep. Yeah, so if you guys are far, far enough back to be stealthing with any amount of success, honestly, you guys cannot <laughs> see. Yeah, so, um, Malik is gonna take one of his daggers and lob it down, uh, as soon as I remember people's names, down the, uh, towards Mercer. You know, like wow, that. you forgot your own boss's name. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Been a while, and I have like six other games. Um, it's okay. So yeah, Malik is going to toss one of his daggers down as, as a prearranged signal between them that, hey, you know, combat's about to start. It's like, get ready for a fight. I'm not, hey, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not about to, to shout down from my perch up here because that'll oh, yeah. reveal my yeah. position. No, I get that. Uh, Mercer's going to take the uh, dagger and lob it back up at the tree as a signal to fuck that noise. We're getting out of here. Because there's only one of me that can smite. There are theoretically eight of them that can smite all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that does sound like a bad day now, doesn't it? A little bit. Yep. So let's fuck off. 
So we're crawling out of our hiding spot. Uh, to go further in, yeah, I think so. We're going further into the woods. Yes. So. Okay. 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 Pick a direction and go, guys. I will attempt to find a more the most uh, you know suitable path. What kind of? Give me your description of suitable. Uh, not like not like full of mud and stuff that would leave an easy trail, uh, and also not like. Just, you know, convenient for walking and also not full of obvious trail-leaving spots. Okay. So you're looking for the the stealthiest uh, yeah. way. Cover okay. uh, so and, give me, like, solid ground. Give me a survival roll. Indeed. One moment. Okay. Can I take a moment to interrupt you guys? Say hello to Owlcast, one of my favorite streamers. He's joining us tonight. Hello. Hello. Big black cock. Indeed. Yes. Now that we have that out of the way. Yes. That yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm great. Oh, right. I'm not supposed to be drinking. This should get good. So are we talking? One of your favorite about? streamers? Do you know who my favorite streamer is? He's really hot. There we go. <laughs> I only watch streamers if they have a nice butt. Got a sound that you see that so There's often no in the stream. Yeah. I was gonna say, how do you know? They stand up sometimes. Tarek stood up. He's got a nice butt. Kind of young for me though. Mm. I should see if Scream has a stream. Ah yes. And of course, not ready for testing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You're playing the same game, so. Yeah. So, are we it's talking just about? It's easier for me to host you than to do my own. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've been sidetracked. What are we doing again? Uh, <laughs> uh, we were waiting for that survival check. Oh, here Remember we go. Twelve. Wow. You have never once rolled a good survival check when it mattered, have you? Doesn't he have a bird that can also do it? <laughs> Gave you. That's how you get views. Seriously, Mark, we no, should no. look into starting my video on Halloween because I will be drunk. I will be DMing and I will be in a Playboy Bunny costume. <laughs> give me some yeah, art. Yeah, I guess give, it is kind of. <laughs> give me some art and I'll promote it. Give me some what? Art and I will promote it. Ooh, I'm actually working on that right now. I have I have the the thing. As, uh, as, might as be inappropriate. Not, I was gonna say as long as it doesn't get me banned. <laughs> well, there's a girl's bare butt with a bunny tail. There you go. Oh, I love Elcast. He's saying my butt has a charisma of fifteen, but I only have nine. Hey man, <laughs> my mouth has a charisma of like two. My butt has a charisma of like thirty-eight. I don't know about that. I've <laughs> seen what you can do with that mouth. Wow, gross! What have I said? Not in front of our friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come uh, on. Live stream. All right. Oh, gotta love it. Um, so... Right, so you guys are are getting the fuck out. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're um, trying to establish what so constitutes. Does your bird happen to have a survival check too? Uh, probably. Yeah, you might wanna. You might wanna help. Okay, there good. There you go. What, what so you're aiding your oh. bird, right? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Keldon goes, and he's like, oh, here we go, a path. And the bird is like, no. <laughs> and he pecks at Keldon's hair until he turns, and he's like, oh, oh, right, yeah, yes, path talk, is a little actually. bit more stable. Yeah, well, I like him to aggressively peck your hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of the idiosyncrasies I put up with, because, you know, he's my magical spirit animal who gives me spells and stuff. Yeah, so when he pecks your hair, you're just like, fuck off. Um, <laughs> off we go. Alright, um, so with, between the bird and Kaldin, you guys manage to wander off deeper into the forest. Um, are you guys remaining Are we stealth? taking stuff from the cart? I don't actually know what you guys had stored on there. Did we have anything worth 
to him. Not if any really. of you would to look up at Malik, you'll see him frantically waving at you to get the fuck out. <laughs> uh, first of all, no, we didn't have anything stored in the. Uh, Where were the skeletons? In your bag of holding, right? On you. Yeah. Uh, I have the other one. So, let's go. And yeah. yes, we're gonna try and stealth, or at least you're all gonna try and stealth. I'm gonna fail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Really, guys? Well, Mozart beat me this time. Wow! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I'm so sneaky. Dude, I'm at a minus four, okay? That ten's pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, uh, Malik, are you following us? Um, if the trees are dense enough, I would like to attempt to follow along the treetops, but if not, then... They're not quite over. dense enough here. Um, you figure further in the forest they would be, but as of right now, you would be... You would have to have some serious monkey spell going on to manage it here. And the soldiers are uh, far enough away that I can get down and make a run without being seen? Yes, you guys have ample notice. Like, you guys have actually been doing pretty alright. You guys are staying one step ahead right now. Comfortably so, because now they not only had to have time to get to where you guys turned off, they now also now have to make it to the woods. So you guys are getting plenty of notice, especially because Malik was just so on point. Okay, so Malik is going to climb on down, or jump down, swing down, and uh, run over to to the boss. Alrighty. Hey boss, you still got that ridiculous red tunic? No, we're a bullshit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes? I don't know what you're talking about, but sure, let's assume that I do. Uh, tell me off a little bit about that, yeah? Sure. I mean, he'll he'll just hand you the whole thing. All right, so Malik is going to rip off a small uh, strip of this bright red under tunic. Like, I'm picturing this as, like, those really weird underwear you see, like, in the cliche westerns, like the guy with, like, the flat <laughs> in the back. He's going to tie that to a crossbow quarrel. And to a what now? Crossbow quarrel. Which is bolt. Let's pretend arrow bolt. Arrow for that I don't know what... It's a bolt. It's not a quarrel. Oh. Uh, bolt. Yeah, I guess they're That's interchangeable. Cool. But, Same thing. Okay, so a bolt. Um, and he's going to lift his crossbow and fire that uh, bright red piece of cloth as far off to the side from us as he can manage. <laughs> Before it hits a tree. I would say it's really, it's not too, too dense, but it's also a wooded area. Okay. With the intent <laughs> of that bright red piece of cloth catching the eye of anyone who comes this way and has, you know, hey, there's something over there. We should go that way. Okay. I will keep that in my mind that you have done. So it really hasn't gone too, too far. Um, but, I mean, you don't really need it to, you just need it to be a distraction. Um, all right, so let's get a stealth check from you as well. Although I feel like it really doesn't matter considering Alden has rolled a three. Also, I feel really awkward when people listen to me. I realized you shouldn't tell me when people watch this stream. God, <laughs> <laughs> I only like to be watched when I'm naked. Jeez. I know that's a lie. Shh. Don't talk, Alan. All right, wow. You're so stealthy. Um, all right, so you guys are moving... So, so, okay. so as, as everyone else is, like, heading off down this pseudo path that they found, they just hear, like, a, a brief rustle of leaves and, like, Malik's coming. Who the fuck is Jonathan, cookies? Yeah. Jonathan, Jonathan. Sorry. Further if you didn't bring enough for the whole class... Uh, yeah, just a moment. <laughs> I forgot to... I thought it was the leaves. <laughs> this is some <laughs> leaves. That's, that's pretty much what we sound like tramping through this. That's good. That's what Keldon actually does sound like with that three roll. So I mean, <laughs> he's actually just RPing really well. Um. So yeah, like Malik rustles off, and and like thirty, forty feet down the road, you just see his pop, his head pop up, like. Like a periscope almost looking around and duck him back down and keep going. Yeah, basically. He's the stealthiest motherfucker in the world. Alright, um... 
So while you guys are all being relatively quiet, I mean Mercer's averagely quiet, but everyone else is being actually pretty quiet. Um, but then we have Keldon, who is <laughs> happily rattling off about how moss grows on the north side of trees. And that's how he can, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of trees are about, you can always find your way north based on the mosses that grow on them. Well, everyone else and he's just chattering away. When there's no moss on any of these trees. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just the moss that he sees with his special eyes. Yeah. Apparently my bird is just better than me. <laughs> just start RPing the bird. It's, 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 better, better, it's, better, it's better than the wilderness than you. <laughs> I'm just going to try and get, like, a permanency possessed familiar sort of thing going on. Yeah, there you go. I, w I would accept that. I would accept that so hard. I've always wanted to do that. Anyways. Anyways. I'm getting sidetracked again. Very easily sidetracked. Uh-huh. Um. Do you want that wood for Jonathan, I swear to God, I'm going to come hmm? over there and shoot the people in your house. <laughs> Thank you. Gotta, you got to keep push to talk on, man. You have a house noisier than mine. That's saying something, because my roommates are just... Jesus, holy... Just so loud. Okay. Moving you on. guys meander further into the forest. Um, how far are you guys going? Like, what, what kind of pace? What, what, what's the goal here? Malik will keep moving back and forth as the uh, rear guard to keep tabs on the soldiers okay. and the, our group. Uh, ushering everyone to continue on forward. All right. So um, so I'm going to pause you right there. Mm -hmm. uh, just so you know, the forest gets pretty dense pretty quick. The further you move in, uh, the less and less that becomes possible because you simply lose sight. You no longer have a line of sight to keep your eye on those people, mm -hmm. and there's no way that you're going to be able to move fast enough to keep going back that far to check on uh, them and then keep back up with the party. They're they're moving at full speed then. They're not searching around. Uh, no, they're moving up towards the woods. They're they're following the tracks and they're moving towards the woods. Cause it's like pretty obvious where you guys went. You, it's flat, flat, flat woods. Okay. <laughs> you could see them. They could see you. Kind of deal. Um. So, yes, last time you saw, they're just walking up the same path that you went. Um, but like I said, you aren't able to keep tabs on them long because the forest gets pretty dense pretty quick. And between the fact that it's dense forest, it's not particularly pleasant walking terrain because there's roots and leaves, there's no path, um, and you're trying to stay stealthy, there's just no way that you're going to be able to pull that off for more than about the first three to five minutes tops of your journey inwards to the forest. Okay, I, I do the best I can. Okay, so what's your goal? Where are we going? Just keep going like You're going deeper in the forest. Just keep going yep. this way for like half an hour and change our direction every now and then. Alrighty. So we're not going in a straight path. Alrighty, so. Um, assuming that Calvin and the bird take the lead. Mm hmm. Um, you lead further and further in. The forest is actually getting darker and darker, and it's not that, that late in the day. Um, but the forest is definitely darker than you feel it ought to be. And a little spooky than you feel it ought to be. It's, it's not the most pleasant place. Like, it's got twisted branches. You know, the whispering wind through the trees kind of thing going on. Um, and eventually... Calvin, can I get a... Remember what class you are again? Shaman? Shaman. Excellent. Give me what I assume will be... A. Do you have knowledge of nature? A little bit. Oh, hey! Excellent! Yeah. And survival. Perfect. Alright. Uh, you realize that you no longer know which direction north is. Um, and. That's not right. And it doesn't matter what direction you turn, you're not sure what direction north is. And whatever trees you inspect for moss, which now the trees have moss. Put that <laughs> out there now. Trees officially have moss. It's, you know, that hanging creepy moss um, is growing all over. There's no particular pattern, which is not a natural occurrence. Um, this forest is... There's something wrong about it. It's, it's not... A typical forest. 
<laughs> wooded area. Of course, is the one time a knowledgeable of nature character would benefit from the spell No Direction. <laughs> um, do you have No Direction? Mm, it's on my list. I don't prepare it. <laughs> okay. I have survival for that. But yes, you, who is leading this, <laughs> is turned about, and your bird seems just as lost. Bird, uh, fly up above the trees and see if you can see the mountains. Alright, bird does so. Now, do you uh, mention to the party that we might be lost? Not at first. Okay. Uh, the bird flies Once. up. And up, and up, and up, and comes Very back down. My canopy. <laughs> and comes back down, and <sighs> how much do birds talk? How much do birds talk? Yeah, like how much, like if they can talk at all, they're, they're talk basic. Like really? Yeah. He has uh, no idea. He has they common, get... and his intelligence is ten. So. Okay, perfect. All right, so he says that. He got lost in the canopy and couldn't. <laughs> this is not good. Very disorienting. I believe we have stumbled into some place in Sorcelled. At this point, Malik catches up to the group and just stands there dumbfounded. Hey, boss, why are we not moving? I no longer know which way is north. I no longer know... The directions in this forest are peculiar. Not as they should be. So, do you think we're walking in a circle? I'm not sure. Alright. I will go up to a tree and arcade... No. Mar oh, yeah, okay. Arcade market. <laughs> <laughs> burn it down. <laughs> that's mad. Just burn the whole thing. This group, that's possible. I can help us. My first idea was, oh, let's just start making ourselves a trail so we know where we've been, and then, you know, we're being followed, so no, that's a terrible idea. Arcane, mark the tree. Invisibly, perhaps. So only, so only you right. can see it. So only I can see it. It'll have an arrow in the direction that we're moving. Okay. And then let's walk 20 feet in that direction. And I'll keep an eye out and mark the next tree. 20 feet, mark the next tree. Okay. Okay. And Malik, I would like. Below the level of most of the foliage, we'll just keep his ears out for any signs of movement. Okay. Or now, I want someone to do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Um, I want you to choose a direction. Um,. Use Left. a text arrow. No, <laughs> no, choose a text... Um, uh, do a text arrow in the direction that you're moving. So either up, down, sideways. Yeah, okay. That's the direction you're currently moving? Yep. Okay. How do you uh, do text arrows like that? Cool. I just did this. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I did too. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Mark, move 20 feet. Mark, move 20 feet. Mark. Okay, you do so. Do I see any of my marks as we're going? Yeah. Um, so you move 20 feet, you can still see the mark from the last tree. You make a new mark, and then you move 20 feet, and you can still see the mark on the last tree, but you can't see it on the tree before that, like the first tree you marked. Um, okay. So we're not going to be back on our trail yes. yet. Well, it's not, you're not sure if it's because A, you just can't see it, uh, because it's now obscured, or if it's gone. Because you don't think you've moved so far that you shouldn't be able to see it at all. No, but I it is a bit very dense forest, and it's quite dim. Okay. I can make it so that anyone in the party can see it? Or only magic users in our party? You can make it, it's magical graffiti. You can make it okay. look like whatever you want. So... Next... Yeah, but can she make it so that only party members can right. see it versus um, everybody? Um, hmm. I don't know. Somebody go read the spell. Uh, you can make it invisible, in which case you can see it with detect magic. 
or it'll be visible and glow. But there's not an option for just certain people to see it, correct? I don't think so. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna turn to Calden and Molazar. Uh, do you guys have the ability to detect magic? Easily. All right. We're gonna keep moving, but I want you guys to keep an eye out for these marks. Okay. I yeah. shall do so. We'll continue on. We'll All right. Wait, so was that you supposed guys to be sarcastic to... or not? No. I want you guys to keep an eye out for them. Um. So you guys pop your detect magic, and this whole place. Wait, is... how do they have detect magic though? <laughs> what? Who had it? But that was crew, right? Never yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'll put mine on as well. Yeah. So, you guys detect magic, and the whole place actually has... Oh yeah, uh, there's that too. <laughs> I was going to say, the whole place kind of has this ambient aura of magic, and as you, I'm assuming, maintain your concentration on it, mm-hmm. you get little bits of, you know, there's some illusion here, some conjuration there. This place is not normal. You guys have stumbled mm-hmm. in somewhere... Not good. <laughs> it is, for lack of a better word, a little spooky. Let's keep moving. Same I, I believe we are in an illusion of some sort. Well, you probably well better get us out of it. Let me think about it. For 15 I've minutes? Heard stories of places like this. No. They never <laughs> end well. Um, Boss, I don't like this. I've seen alleys and dagger robes spookier than this. Not not as spooky as this. As this accent changes yet again. I know, I like it. I like how it's just shifting all the time right now. <laughs> At some point or another, I'll get good enough to make it an emotional state. Excellent. Also, Mark, you're goofy. Look at your right. goofy costume. I'm sorry, will, I've been distracted by that again. As I described that there might, we might be an illusion, I'll also cast Detect Magic. Y- yeah, there's it. some illusion, some conjuration. I choose to it, It's not particularly... 23 <laughs> spellcraft. Uh, you're not 100% sure. There, there doesn't seem to be a particular identifiable spell that you do know... Like, cause, cause nothing of it is very strong, and most of it is just very fleeting. It's just very faint, very fleeting. You, you can't figure out exactly what is going on. It's just there. All right. Um, there's nothing tangible. There's nothing you can hold to really inspect to fully identify what's going on. I agree, something fishy's going on, but let's keep moving. Um, but this time, I'll mark every ten feet. Okay. Every ten feet mark. Um, All right. So, yeah. likewise, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you can only see the last mark you made. By the time you look to go see the mark before the last mark, it's gone again. Oh. Wait, something is destroying the arcane marks. No, he's just—it's lost in the woods. Okay. Ten feet away. Can't really destroy the marks. The marks are permanent, if I recall. They're permanent unless you use a. Uh, if you're putting it on a tree, it'll be gone in a month. Yeah, I guess trees are living. <clears throat> I'll stop then. Alrighty. Even with the tech magic, if they're not glowing. Alright. I think it's because you can't see them through the foliage. Well, they would it's glow. Probably... Huh? They would glow. If you're using the tech magic, it's going to glow brightly. So even 10 feet away, we should still be able to see it. At least the glow of it. Hmm. Alright, so as you keep going in, uh, the forest is getting, you know, deeper and darker, the trees are getting bigger and older, they've got that, you know, dark cracked bark, uh, big heavy branches reaching out. Because I have a light spell. You have not seen, seen or heard anything else beyond the sounds of nature. It's, I mean, you hear the occasional twit of a bird. Um, but you don't hear any, like, clinking of armor or marching or anything like that. 
I think we've got uh. bigger problems than those fighters back there. How dark is it? Is it like dim light yet? Um, we are nearing dim light. It's not quite there yet. You're not struggling to see. Um, I mean, you'll, I'm, your vision's obscured by the fact that you're in a forest. Yeah. But it's not, the light isn't a hindrance to you yet. Okay. But it has been progressively getting darker as the crown of the forest gets thicker and heavier. Um, yeah, if yeah, it goes down to dim light, branches. I'll, I'll pop my light spell. Yeah, for sure. All right. Um, Harper's going to stop moving then because something's going on. Um, she'll turn to Mercer, point at the arcane mark on the, the tree. And then Can I see it? Um, I don't have spells. Oh, you don't have spells? No. I have no magic. I mean, you could make it visible. All right. And no, no, no. It's, still be seen it's fine. You can point at it all you want, mm -hmm. and then Mercer will look at you and go, That's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll retouch the tree and this time make the arcane mark visible so you can see what I was doing. I'm not just some idiot touching random trees every t mm. 10 feet. Well, you <laughs> might be. <laughs> uh, I was doing this, and the tree, tree 10 foot back should have the same mark, but it's gone. No, the tree 10 foot back does. The tree 20 oh. feet back does not. The tree 20 foot back. Well, that's kind of... You can see the last one that you made, but not the right. one before that. If we go to the last one that she made, can we see the previous one? Would you like to try? Uh, Harper would like to try, but before she does, she's going to take her rope out of her bag, hand the end of it to Mercer. Oh, great. Here we go. <laughs> Mercer will take the end of the rope. And then I will tie the other end around my waist. And... If I scream... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Alright. And I'm gonna walk back the 20 feet. Is the arcane uh, there? What, are you walking at the 20 feet or the 10? The 20. Okay, if you're moving back... Do you... You can see the one that's 10 feet away, so you walk back to that one. Mm -hmm. um, but before you move 20 feet away, uh, once you get to that one that's 10 feet away, you can't see the one that is yet another 10 feet away. Do you That's still want to continue weird. forward? I want to move... I want to move the ten, the extra 10 feet. You don't see anything. Has Nothing. the rope changed angle from Mercer's point of view? The rope has not changed angle from Mercer's point of view, but you guys can no longer see uh, your witch. It's and likewise, the witch there. can no longer see you guys. Not uh, because it's dark, she just seems to have stepped behind a tree and has not reappeared. Almost. Mercer would like to tug on the rope. She feels it. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> but you don't know that. Does she tug back? Harper? I would tug back. Okay. Well, go. Mercer doesn't pull then. He'll just wait. <laughs> um, I want to stand there and give a good look around. Do I see anything? weird, out of place. Other than the creepy, creepy, creepy forest? Yes. I know, it's just the creepy, creepy, creepy forest, but you cannot see where you what? just came from. Like, you can't okay. see your party. What's the rope the is still tight. Uh, you've got about 10-ish feet of vision. Okay. Like, you can see the mark that you made, so you... <laughs> yeah, I could see the ten, the mark ten feet back, the one that was yeah. in the middle, that I yeah, could always exactly. see. But I yeah. can't see the mark I was heading to. Correct. So something is definitely going on. Alright, so I'm gonna head back okay. to the group. Once you get to that mark, the you can see your party again. Well, here's an idea. If we've got some kind of illusion or misdirection going on, if walking to the to the first rune and keep going doesn't show the rune, what if you made a hooked a a turn in Albuquerque at that first rune? I wanna try one more thing. No going to uh, Albuquerque. 
<laughs> Mercer would like to uh, chime in with, um, I might be out of my depth here, <clears throat> but um, what the fuck is Albuquerque? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, you uh, took the wrong turn at Albuquerque. Don't worry, boss. Some of you know what I mean. Some of you will never know what I mean. <laughs> Alright. Uh, if you guys don't mind waiting here for just one second, I want to try one more thing. Oh, because we've um, got such a rush to be in other places. <laughs> We're hopefully so making good progress walking through this endless forest of this direction. I'm going to head 20 feet forward, like in the direction that we were originally heading. And mark the trees as I go, like I was doing, 10 feet, 10 feet. And then, but before I leave, I want you guys to stay here and keep an eye on this tree, the mark that I had made visible. And I'll move 10 forward 10 feet, mark the tree, move forward another 10 feet, and mark that tree. Okay. I'm sorry, what? She's gonna go on ahead without us and have us watch the tree behind her. Okay. Rope's still tied around my waist. Uh, before I leave, I will cast message on us. Okay. Yeah. You guys keep an eye on this tree, and I'll point out the mark that I have made that is visible to everyone. I'll move forward 10 feet, make another mark that's visible to everyone, and then move another 10 feet and make another mark. Alright, so the party can see you make the next mark, and likewise you can still see the party and the mark that they're currently watching. When you move forward more, uh, you can no longer see the party or the mark that they're guarding. You can see the last one you made, and of course you can see the one that you make after that. The party can only see the one that you made in the middle. They cannot see you or the, the newest. Right, using message. I really needed a battle map for this. I hadn't anticipated this route. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> this okay. is a little confusing for me. Well, no, no, it's, I, mean, I understand what's going on. Using Good, message. because I hardly do. I'm going to call back to the party. Do you guys still see the mark that's there? Did we? Yeah, it's still there. Right, yep, it is still here. Why don't you just hold on one moment? And Malik is just gonna keep a hand on the rope and walk towards um name. Harper. Harper. It's and literally in the thing at the bottom of the screen, man. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> yes, and there's six people listed there out of order. Um <laughs> oh, yeah. there's only one chick. Um Allie Harper can be a male three. name contradict you on that. The uh, face there is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Anyways. so Malik is going to keep a hand on the rope so it's guiding him, and he's going to walk to Harbor. Does he see marks all along the way? If he stands in the middle? I'm following yes. the rope from party to Harbor. Okay, so once you you see the party, you get to the middle one, you see the middle one, and then you can see head to Harbor, and you can see that one. Okay. When he's standing in the middle, can you turn around and see both of us? You can see Harper, and you can see the party in either direction. Okay. Or each appropriate direction. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And I explain that to Harper, not knowing what she's going on about. Well, I was thinking maybe something was going behind us. And Mercer, do me... Damn it. It's a 20-foot bubble. Mozart, do me a favor. Look yes. back at the tree that's 10 feet behind you. Yes. Do you see that mark? Do I? Yes. Yes. So, so we don't have, like... The marks are working. And nothing is erasing bubble. it. But we're in a 20 or so foot bubble of some sort of illusion. I'm going to keep going. My we group should. is 50 How much feet, rope do you have? 50 feet. Okay, and it's currently going from... That's 10, 20. Okay, you're at 20 feet right now. Right. I'm going to walk to the edge of my rope. Still doing the 10... Move 10 feet, mark the tree. Move 10 feet, mark the tree. <laughs> no big deal. Just split the party. It's fine. Cast your own off on her own. What direction... Okay, sorry. Um, what direction is Harper currently heading? Uh, the direction that we were originally heading. So okay, we have several directions here right now, so... 
forward. I know, that's why I said, uh, arrows. Use an arrow to indicate yeah, what direction. We, we so if you were on a battle map, what direction? We think we're heading east. Yes. Okay. I reached the end of my- I reached the end of my rope. Okay. So you so can see the- me? You can't see anybody anymore, because you've moved quite far. I'm gonna test the message, Cancho. You guys still there? Yes. Can we hear her? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> We're still here. I would have said no if you couldn't. I'll let you know when things are weird. <laughs> I gather you haven't been attacked yet. Can, can I see... I can still only see the mark ten feet behind me? Okay. So I'm going to stay where I'm at. I want you guys to follow the rope to me. Okay. Sure. And uh, keep an eye yeah. out for the marks as you guys are all moving. Mercer will. Um, hold on, hold on. Let me let me size this out. Hold on. I actually have to get a paper. Let me be a good damn here. Here, I gotta make sure that I'm doing this right. Sorry. Hold on. So we had. And twenty, and then so I just got to make sure. So, um, as I wait for them, I'm going to tap myself with my mage armor one. That's fair. You are more than welcome to do that. All right. So, you guys can follow once you move the next mark where Malik was waiting uh, you stop being able to see that one before where the party had initially been waiting mm -hmm. um, at which point Mercer via the message cantrip says stop making marks there's literally no point and it's just gonna lead whoever's following us to us and then so once the party catches up with Malik I'm assuming Malik moves with the party correct? Mm -hmm. yes okay and then, so once you move forward, the one that the party had initially been waiting for disappears, etc. You guys kind of get how this works. However, you guys realize that once you get past the one just past Malik, you can't see the one after that. Okay. Or so the one after that. Done. No, you can't see the one after that, or the one after that. Um, but then when you are about ten feet away from Harper, not only does she come into view, but you can see the Mark ten feet before her, and the one at her current position. Jesus. <laughs> that makes okay. sense. I'm sorry. I, I, I just I have to I have to sketch this out really quick to figure yeah. out what you can and cannot see. Okay. okay. So <laughs> so to sum it up, we can see marks that are adjacent to us, and that's all. Well, yeah, we can, you can see, see the mark marks... ten in ten feet in either direction. Yeah, so whatever is adjacent to either group of people, we can Wait, see... Wait, were any of the marks that we passed that should have been there not there? That's what um, she's saying. You couldn't see the two that were there. That You couldn't see the two yeah. that are supposed to be there. So she went, like, 50 feet out. Yeah, so and you guys middle couldn't... Two, sort so of? If we're calling the party zero feet, from the party's initial location where they first started, where you guys first started the rope stuff, from that initial location, she moved out 50 feet. You guys could not see the ones at... 20 and 30? 30, 30, 30 and 40 feet. Okay. No, sorry. Uh, 20 and 30? 30, 30? And 20, 30, 40. My brain hurts. Yeah, I'm for this. Whatever. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta redo this. I counted it wrong. So, 10, 20, it should 30, be 20 40, 30. 50. Boss, just let me know when we get there, right? No, it's actually only the one at 30. Alright. So we did miss a mark. You missed a mark. Sorry, I had an extra one jotted down. Right. Okay. Work so, it. something erased your mark. No, I don't think they're erased. I think that there's some sort of illusion that's cast on us or in this area that only gives us an awareness of 10 feet. 
So I believe the mark where there. your mark should have been. Well, we just need to know we're traveling in a straight line, right? Right. So, why don't you lay out the rope, and we'll uh, leapfrog this. You move out ten feet, we know we got ten feet in one direction. Someone moves ten feet from you, the last party member comes up, and goes in front of the first person, and we know we're going in a straight line, just leap it for Not leap necessarily. It There's always... You'll, you'll be able to see the person what? ten feet away from you. You won't Hold be able on. to tell if you're in a straight line relative to person ten feet I was gonna say, what are you... That. What are you basing this straight line on? What is the straight relative oh. to? So if you have three set points, party member mm -hmm. back, main party, party member in the front. If the rope doesn't change angle, you can presume that it's a straight line. And the person in the middle will be able to see if the rope has changed angles. Correct. Okay. So as long just as making sure. I just wanted to hear what the plan was. Sure. As long as there's a person in the back and there's a person in the front, the main group should be able to move in a straight line. Okay. So we have enough people. Yes. To, we have enough people to be leapfrogging, so we can you know have two. You do. And and just keep moving that way methodically. Okay, let us try this. I think we should burn the forest down. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't like this idea much. Do we think we're being watched? I am uneasy. Uh, I'm uneasy. This sort of uneasy magic is rarely. So, I mean, it, it depends on your perspective of your character. So, personally, when I'm in the dark and I pass a dark doorway, I always feel like I'm being watched. Same kind of sensation. Um, it depends on the person. So, some people might have no issue. Some I mean, this is creepy, prepared. but you might don't necessarily feel watched. Yeah. Some no. people are very uh, comfortable with the dark. Okay, uh, I have a, a, a one thing to note. I have an open second level spell slot, and I could prepare Augury. Is there anything we could use that for? Asking the DM how exactly we get out of this shithole? Well, it's a wheel or woe sort of question. Ah, uh, um... No. No. I we strong limited. Sooner or later we'll get to the edge of the forest unless we're in a perpetual we're still within the t same 10 feet, which is why I wanted to move 50 feet out. Uh, if we move 50 feet out, it's very likely the rope will be bending. Without us noticing. Why don't we just walk for a little bit? I Theoretically. We're probably going to get jumped by whatever is going to jump us. That's exactly. Point regardless, so <laughs> at this point, that's I'd kind of the point. Straight up fight and walking around in this. Exactly. It's probably some fey thing or another. Well, not gonna fight fair. Hey, if you can stick a dagger <laughs> in it, it's a fair fight. That's it, the point. You won't be able if to. You stick a dagger uh, in no nothing, Mr. Zaper. <laughs> yeah, you act like Mercer's smart enough to come up with that joke. Malik gets a DM point. He gets a hero point for that joke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. I mean it, he gets one. <laughs> Proud of you. I've decided um, I'm going to reward stupid jokes. Well, it's funny <laughs> you mentioned that. <laughs> Guys, we really need to leaf this forest. <laughs> stupid joke I can't believe forest. you. Oh no. I think we need to start branching out with these plans. Alright, you get a DM point, Alex gets a DM point. Oh god, we're, we're rewarding puns. <laughs> Are you surprised? Come on, Harper! Get your shit together! <laughs> Alright, so. Let's just take a walk for a little bit. Are we leapfrogging or are we walking? Good. We're just walking. You're the boss. It doesn't make a difference anyway. We have no idea where we are or what direction we're heading in to begin with. Let's just walk. Hey, you're the boss. You start barking some orders. We're gonna follow. All right, Mercer starts walking. He makes Poor sure Harper. to hold on to uh, the end of Harper's rope still, so that just in case she still has to get tugged along. 
<laughs> wow, Get out. kinky. I'm back. Welcome back. <laughs> You're being dragged by a rope. Okay. Not really. Hopper, do you have walking. any puns? Alright, who's made a pun so far? Uh, everyone except for Harper at this point. Okay. So everyone except for Harper currently has a uh, hero slash DM slash whatever the fuck you want to call them point. Okay, get out of the fire. Harper, do you have a foresty pun? Uh, no. Damn! <laughs> get your I've shit never together. Been, I've never been good at puns. Hold on. I don't think we qualified as good at puns. I was gonna say, I mean, good is really, really just. Wow, speak for yourself. I mean, hold on, I made some great druid puns earlier. I'm sure they're relevant to Forrest in some way. We're all just a bunch of poor saps. Hey! One of us! Wait, what did you say? We're all poor saps. Yes, excellent. Hero point for you. All right, so you're walking. Do you guys meander walking through the forest? Uh, apparently ignoring Harper's suggestion that you leapfrog along, or whoever suggested it was who leapfrogged along. It was kind of both of me and Malik's idea. Yeah, well, apparently you're not anymore. Okay. Eh. Mercer made the executive decision to veto that plan. <laughs> <laughs> I like owl cast. He gets a hero point, too. Hey, <laughs> Owlcast gets a hero point. Yay! Uh, Does that mean he gets to use it on whoever he wants, whenever he wants? There, yeah, I'm totally <laughs> cool with that. Audience participation, right? Owlcast, so, don't judge me! I'm not good at this. <laughs> okay. So we're just walking along, then? Yep. Yeah, no. you're just walking along. Um, so the forest gets darker, darker, darker. Um, eventually... Light. Yeah, I was going to say, eventually, the people who said that they were going to cast light uh, do cast it uh, when it does become too dim. Um, uh, how far down. away can you send them and still see them? Uh, About 10 feet in any them. direction. Yeah, I can send them 150 <laughs> feet, but from what we've judged, we can only see 10 feet. So I'm going to have them circle around 10 feet around us. Good plan. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. I would play a druid with that man. <laughs> he plays D and D too, on occasion. You're, you're really I'm going at, to I'm just. I'm the World of Warcraft druid. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Eventually, you're just gonna drive us all barking mad. <laughs> yeah. See, I would be my tree druid self, and uh, I would explain to people that uh, I could be pretty rough if he didn't mind a girl with some bark. Well now. Wow. <laughs> I fucking love my tree druid, man. <laughs> she was the I greatest know. thing to ever happen to me. I loved that class too when I played that evil crack. Moving on. Okay. Yes, moving on. Fine, fine. I won't talk about my nice hardwood. Um. I don't need to hear. I'm gonna get you, Twitch man. <laughs> I said nothing. She was talking about herself. That's <laughs> true. No, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> dear God, dear God, okay. Okay, before we descend into penis jokes. Fault. Before we descend into time. penis jokes, because let's face it, I will never leave penis joke land. <laughs> Which, by the way, remind me, I'll tell you the funny one that I told yesterday in front of my family. Oh boy. <laughs> right. Yeah, it was good. Let's Anyways, move on. so you guys move into the forest. It's dark, it's creepy, it's spooky. Um, You notice it's starting to get kind of that heavy silence on it. The sound of birds is a lot less, fewer far between. You get oh, those creepy, um, like those <laughs> creepy sounding birds calls, but none of the tweety, sweet singing birds. <laughs> kind of a uh, creep of the forest, and it's no longer quite so pleasant. Do I feel like Mercer <laughs> would like to draw his weapon and just keep it out in case that wasn't okay. abundantly obvious already? <laughs> it wasn't, thank you. Okay. I would have dinged you on that should combat arise. Well, there you go. Now you know. Because mm -hmm. it's not like you would get a free move action drawing as he charged or whatever. <laughs> Definitely not. Not in my campaign. Um, <laughs> I mean, what if something just walked right in front of him, five feet in front of him? Well, then he wouldn't need to move. He would just 
Semantics, semantics aside, what happens? Yes. Um, yes. And so as you go further in, um, there's just to be a fog that comes in. Um, kind of starting to cloud your vision. Like, you know you can't see very far, but you can see that there's fog just woven through this whole area. Like, everywhere you step, there's just, you know, that strings of fog just clouding in. And the deeper you go, the cloudier it gets. And, um... Alright, we need to stay see. very close to each other. Can I get my lazy, I really need to make macros for this so I can make this in secret, but I'm not going to, so please roll perception rolls. Shit, I have an extra bracket on that. Well, Harper's cleaning her nails. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so, hold on one sec. Something's watching us. Something sneaky. Spooky, scary. All right. <laughs> Who is? What is your marching order right now? What do you, What do you guys look like? Malik is always hundred percent always behind Mercer, like directly behind Mercer at any and all times. Well, okay, since we're close to the front. Since um, we're no longer actually being led by somebody who's halfway decent at survival. And I, I do mean halfway decent. <laughs> <laughs> Them roll. Mercer's up in front. Okay. Malik is probably right behind him, and then uh, Calvin. Are we going, like, in a line, uh, single file, or...? Yeah, I was going to say, like, I mean, it's not necessarily single file. I mean, you guys could... I'll That's true. Say, That's why I'm asking, like, like, two by two, keep it simple. Yeah. I'm in the middle where I can get, you know, attacks of opportunity if something charges us. I'm in the, yeah. I'm yeah, in so the middle of everyone, so I can keep the dancing light ten feet out from other people. I'm in the back. Yeah, so the guys with actual armor in the front. Malik is behind Okay, okay so... <laughs> Harper's right that. next to Malik, and then Molazar is in the back. So yeah, it's yeah, um, shoulder to shoulder. It is Keldon, then Mercer. Okay, and then hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on. That. Then behind that we have Malik and Harper. And I'm right. assuming Malik is the one directly behind Mercer. Okay. Yep. And then and Molazar, just like he just did. Oh okay. well, I did it too, but you know that works as well. Perfect, beautiful. Thank you, Keldon. You saved my butt. Yeah, that. <laughs> Moma, mm, ha. Right. <laughs> um, Har Harper's grown bored and she's starting to clean her nails. Yeah, exactly. Zero perception. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 let's see. What is Molazar's flat footed CMD, if that matters? Oh. Uh oh. Is it, it trapped or is it attached? Just. Molazar. Something's grabbing it. My CMD. Uh, 14. Mine is your How about that without deck? It is 14. Flat flat. Okay. Okay, perfect. Alright. Ah, excellent. Um, you find yourself suddenly grappled by something very, very, very large. Oh dear. And multi-legged. Double one. Like two? <laughs> two legs? Probably eight. Could be six, Maybe eight. Know. It could be eight. Oh yeah, I. You still have those skeletons? In a bag. Okay. Where else? <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna <clears throat> quickly throw you people together the way you're supposed to be now. All right. This one is Calden. This one is Mercer. This one is Harper. Malik. Molotar. Now, the the skeleton that was already put together and ready to go. If he... They're both like, intact. Poured out his bag. Would they come out ready to go? Or would he yes. have to... Sweet. Right. You got so Pokeballs, man. completely invert the bag and then... You've got right. a Pokeball. Uh, technically, you could open the bag and say, get out, and it would get out. Okay. They follow your orders. They just have to be very simple orders. 
Sedibu said it. I choose you, skeleton number one. And two. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> I'm just uh, making sure all the tokens are in the correct That's true. places. Because I made this hard on myself because I apparently <laughs> suck. You are good. It's okay. I think we'll live. Um, Alrighty, here we go. Skeleton two is recorporated at this point, so. Yeah, they're both intact and full of HP, so. Yep. Hopefully you guys can't see everything. Just... Oh, okay. Let's there see where go. we are. Hey, nice icon. <laughs> what icon? What that is? Oh, this is spooky. So should we... yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's got like... eight legs. It was the first eight-legged thing that I saw that was cool looking, so I was like, this one! Okay, yeah, I, I still don't have see it. From Iron Gods with those things. Thank it's you. right behind <laughs> Lolazar. It is. It is not as fancy as it looks technically. It's not like yeah. wearing armor or anything. It yeah. just is. It's a big it just looks cool. Big Do you all see it? I don't see it. It kind of blends into I... the background. This? Oh yeah, I guess we wouldn't up in the front. We can only see this far. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys can only see that far. <laughs> oh, so we can't see it, like. Intentionally? Well, Harper and oh, Harper. can you not? Can you not see the map at all? I can see the map, the the purple and green you know, and cloud and stuff. Oh, there it is. I see it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say it's pretty fucking stealthy. I mean, I know I picked it out. It blends <laughs> in real good, but sure. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. So I, I see it now. Quit. Do Do Harper and Malik actually see it, or did it? Was it all like? Secret <laughs> picking up Molazar. Uh, no, it, it it surprised you, and now you're getting ready to go into webs. combat. I hope to yell. Uh, no, actually, you don't see any immediate spider webs. Uh, <laughs> and let me just get out the tracking order and clear this thing out. I'm the most prepared DM. I don't know what you're talking about. Best DM ever. From behind, correct. Yeah, this thing dropped on your backmost character. That's why I was asking for marching order. Okay. Even better that he was alone back here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Malik. I'm sorry for you. Just be glad I'm not John in this case. Even though Harper was, uh... doing her nails, she's still ready to go. Oh, God. Still ready. <laughs> Nine plus... Nice dot one 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 on there. Thanks. <laughs> Been like that since the beginning. Where's my stuff? Here we go. Mercer there just doesn't fucking care. It's quite He's just bored out of his mind at this point. <laughs> I'm hurt. All right. Order. And name. Alrighty. Harper is the first to respond. Yeah. I'm gonna turn around get a good look at this thing. You can what see the, the front of it, but you can't see its back half. Okay. Can I tell it's what the grabbing is? grabbing Molazar. I just rolled everything. I don't know uh, what I mean. What are you exactly? Oh, wait. Spider. Nature? Yep, hold on. What's talking the about the spider. I know. <laughs> What's the DC? 10 thing? plus CR, unless it's very rare, then it's 15. Alright, you basically know that this is a wolf spider. Its creature appears as a large monster spider, oddly enough with the head of a wolf, which is why I use the not typical spider thing. Um, its eyes are like multifaceted a like a spider's, thing. and its fangs are complemented by a set of spider-like mandibles. Yes, I know they're a real thing, but this is the magical beast wolf spider. It literally Wait, has a head of a wolf. is this an actual magical beast wolf spider with, like, yes. wolf parts? Yeah. Okay. It has a wolf head. It has a and wolf head. A spider. Yeah, so it's like a hybridization. Like its face is pretty wolfy, but also still spidery. Would this is I... a scary thing. You don't want to burn it with fire. Like, is come it on, like this is scary. Magical beast? What? It was magical beast. So okay. Harper identified it as a wolf spider. That was about as far as she got. Okay. Would Not I... very hard judging from its face and how many <laughs> legs it has. <laughs> Would I know if it was able to cast spells? No, you don't know jack shit, you just are like, Wolf spider! Look! Okay. Wolf, head wolf! Is a spider? spider. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh... Fuck. Alright. I'm going to... 
Well, seeing as I can't see its back half of it, I know it's pretty big. So I'm gonna cast defensively. Okay. A level two spell. Nope. Wow. Hey. Alright, <laughs> the nail file got in the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was you my... yourself in the cuticle. And... Shit. I'm gonna... Back away and lose sight of it. But I'm going to yell at Mercer. Ten feet back, giant wolf spider. Please squish it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing I have my sword out. Make... I have a feeling it'll make its presence known rather rather quickly. And that'll end my turn. Sorry, one sec here. I'm reading up on this one ability that I didn't even realize it had because it didn't have the thing at the bottom and I missed reading it when I was skimming it, so I'm just educating myself real quick. I swear to god, if my curse is carried over from that other game. I think it's just all your <laughs> characters. Okay. Um. Drag. Okay. So. <clears throat> Remind me again what your CMD is. It's as though you're not flat footed, you're just grappled now. Fifteen. All right. Uh, you get dragged. How far can it drag? It depends on how much it beats it by, right? Yes. All right. So Fifteen. So it's like five feet for every five over. All right. So it's ten over. So it's gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say it's ten over. So a total of ten feet or a total of fifteen feet. Fifteen. Fifteen feet. All right. Let's go. You get the free wow. five, and then wow. every extra five is another. Go on, Molazar, let's go. So <laughs> nail marks in the ground. No. You remember that idea that Malik and Harper had about tying everyone together with the rope? No, 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 <laughs> it's fine. Malik, would you mind terribly sidestepping? Thank you. You can't see it. <laughs> yes, she told him where it is. Yeah, right. you... Unless you Malik tells you it ran away. Here. <laughs> So I'm going I'm going to cast Bull's Strength on Mercer. Okay. Thank you. And then I'm going to run after the spider and company. Alright. Well, yeah, you would have seen Bull's get pulled away. Yeah. Uh, one moment. I would too, actually. Mm -hmm. Assuming I'm perceptive enough to even realize that. So I'm pretty you sure don't know like what, but you know he got grabbed and drugged. You may have seen creepy crawly legs. It's a roofy spider. Yeah, and that'll be my turn. Alrighty. Molzar, you finally get your chance to escape. <laughs> yes, because uh, combat, re combat maneuvers are so good on, you know, sneaky uh, master characters. <laughs> I would like to um, cast Color Spray defensively. Uh, Can uh, you cast when you're grappled and it grab takes an extra drug? concentration check? Yep. He basically has to do two. Easy as pie. What's the CMB okay. of the creature? Allie, what's the CMB of the creature? Uh, the CMB of the creature? It's or the CMB? Bonus. B. Bonus. B. Uh, nine? DC is twenty. Missed it. Yep, you missed it. So the spell is lost. Can I intimidate it? <laughs> Still? <laughs> Glad you know what? No. You can. Can you that know? That takes a standard action. He tried oh, to cast it? a spell and he failed. Uh, I don't know standard. Question for the GM. The Alcast would like to know, can he use his hero point for the spider? <laughs> <laughs> I would like God to bluff the spider no. into thinking I'm his friend. <laughs> I mean, you could try. Stop doing it. Again, I assuming whatever action it is. I assume you guys know your own shit. It's, it's I just sit action. here and 
Oh, yeah. Well, then, no, you See, this is why I have a uh, mark around. It's because then I don't have to look anything up. This is great when I'm wrong a lot of the time. <laughs> hey, man. It doesn't matter on me. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's it. I don't think I can do anything else. Alrighty. <laughs> What's the escape artist check to get out? Same as CMD. Standard? Everything's standard. Okay. Malik. Um, move, please. Right. Um, you can't charge. You can't see it. Yeah, you Wait, you is it a difficult terrain because you can't see? No, yeah, yeah, I mean, no. you're in a forested terrain and you can't see that far. Yeah, even if it was perfectly clear, you have to see your target in order to charge it. Um, Malik just knows that something big just hauled some guy away, like every, like, bad horror movie ever. <laughs> and he's going to make way for Mercer, because Mercer just said, hey, move. And I guess he'll... Uh, this tree over here, how much of this is standable space up in the north here? Um, like, so you can kind of see what... Yeah, that you're under the tree branches, but yeah. Okay. If, uh... The area is obscured enough. I would love to make a hide attempt. Wait, so does... Um, no, you're not obscured enough. You're not behind the tree. You're... It, it, it can see me straight on? It can see you. Yeah, you can see it. If Okay. If There's it... no facing, so, yeah. Alright, um... Wait, um I'll, I'll try to piss it off a little bit. Was there actual difficult terrain for the purpose of, like, difficult you're terrain? You're not in difficult terrain because I didn't want to deal with it. It seemed like too much work, and I just didn't want to do it. Okay. Especially because, you know... It's just considered difficult terrain for some... You, I knew like you guys were going to have a caster in the back like idiots. <laughs> 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 so I decided not to make it difficult terrain, because I wanted to give your caster a fighting chance. Just... <laughs> I'm a half caster, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell me about your CMB? Hmm? It's bad. Yeah, Use dex based, getting flat footed is, you know. Bad. Bad. <laughs> yep. Alright, so now I look through a dagger, I'm fairly certain a 15 misses. Oh, sorry, I didn't even realize it actually found one. Um. Actually, 15 hits. He barely just nicks the carapace of the spider, though. Uh. Yep, he does. He nicks it. Good job, buddy. We did it. Mercer! Straight on, boss! You can't see. Doesn't we'll matter, have to I move have it. forward like everybody else. I have a 20 foot move speed, so I'm going to walk up to it and, like, smile. I don't know. That's 20 feet. Oh no, you can. I can double move, sure, but I can't hit it, is my point. You know, you might as well stay on it, I think, is what they're saying. Yes. Move and assist. Like, pull like, sure. him on Mercer, Molazar Mercer and like pull him away. Mercer will do. Um, Mercer will do. Oh, you should try and like reposition on Molazar or something. Is that a <laughs> thing I can do? I don't know what. Is he grappled? He's he grappled. I don't know. If grappled and drug away, <laughs> repositioned or whatever. It's like Molazar, make a wish. Um, <laughs> Spider pulls on one side, Molazar pulls on the other. <laughs> so the way that that works is um, it can back up the grapple as a standard action, and then if it succeeds to back up the grapple, it can move half its speed. Um, or it can do damage to him, or any number of crazy fucking things that you can do when you back up a grapple. Um, it's not a reposition. Reposition is just like, I want you to well, move. Well, either way, it's the I same role, maybe and you could he did some shit. Can I reposition him out of the grapple? I don't know, that's what I'm curious about. I've never run yeah. into that situation before. We're, we're I don't think I can, because I'd have to break the grapple. We're, we're kind of in the realm of house rules here. So, if, yeah. <laughs> Allie, if you think that Mercer can yank Molazar out of the spider's grip, cool. If not, I would maybe say that that's actually a strength check more than Wait. anything else. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Like a contested family. strength check? Or? Uh, yeah. Opposed strength check? Roll it off! Strength or a one. strength versus... Strength versus strength. I don't... Yeah, a strength versus strength, I think, is what it would be. Fuck you, spider. 
I want to be free. I would have Alright, let's see what my mods are here. Watch to have a plus ten. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Mercer pulls it. Pulls okay, Mola's I are. Uh, just barely. Does, does Molazar lose a boot or something? <laughs> Pop out of my shoes. <laughs> Molazar loses a shoe, yes. No. Everybody knows that in places where bad things happen, shoes get lost. So Mercer <laughs> basically just reaches over, grabs Molazar <laughs> by the scruff of his neck, and then kicks this thing in one of its mandibles or whatever it's holding him with, and just hauls him backwards out of it. Alright, so I'm gonna say uh, you're not re repositioning him. Yeah, probably not. But you pulled I... him out of the clawy, grabby hands. Which is nice, because it's turn goes oh, oh, before Molazar's, so it doesn't actually matter. I'm gonna have to matter. look this up for real rules later to see how DMs handle this, but for now, you know, I'll take it. I like this. Hopefully I, like I pissed it off, so I mean, that's the important thing. Alright, Harper, a chance to redeem yourself. Yeah. You can see nothing and no one. As everyone disappears from Harper's view, she's instantly gonna do this. <laughs> uh, alright. <laughs> you had dancing Jesus. lights kicking around somewhere. Where did those actually go? Ten feet out! That's as far as we can fucking see! Right. Yeah, you guys can't see her or her lights, however, yeah. somebody else had light up, I believe, too. Well, Calden does. It's on Calden, my screen. Yeah. Calden can see my light. He's ten feet from me. From the light. Oh yeah, yeah. so he, he can, can see, see her light. light globe, and yeah. And, he, else. and likewise, she can see his light globe, because he will have some light right. radiating. So, you guys are still oriented to each other, which is right. very beneficial. Right, but Harper's still gonna tell them I told you so because she wanted everyone to stay tied up to make it easy, but no. So, listen, listen. You guys are following a dude who has eight int and eight wisdom, and <laughs> assuming he knows better than you do about anything. Like, this is your own goddamn fault. All right, she's gonna be forward now. She can see the fucking spider. Yeah, but it's goddamn. She can get punched by it. So, so one of her lights is going to be like right on it. Right. Yep. If they're following her. Just try casting normally, see what happens. If you get punched, we'll heal you up afterwards. So I can one-shot you. <laughs> How much health do you have? Not very much. 24. Well, you're fine. Alright. I want to... Time Fuck it. We're going to try it. 22. You're fine. You'll probably have cover, like, from Molazar anyway. I need a fortitude save. What is this? Hold on here. I want to blind the fucker. Nice. Mother! Okay, I was, don't even have to look at their mod. It's saved! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Apparently you can only get one of its eyes. It's still okay. It's only got 17 of them. How many eyes does it have? It's I mean, eight. it has a wolf head. Eight eyes. Mandibles. So ears. Two, level 2 so spells that have been wasted on this we... fucker. <laughs> if we kill this guy, can I reanimate it? Let's How yeah. about yes, and there. Yeah, I was gonna say okay. technically yes, and uh, there's different rules for exoskeleton. So look them up. Harper's turn. She moved. She cast a spell. The f spider gave it a middle finger with one of its legs. Yeah. <laughs> its middle leg, as a matter of fact. <laughs> wow. It's now the spider's turn. Alrighty, spider, not so happy. Um. It was me. I pissed you off. <laughs> <laughs> um, however, Spider wants its meal. What a shock. Question is, can it tell that it tried to cast a spell at it? Um, so. Well, they did save against that one instead of just, like, the other one fizzling, so... I can't blame it for wanting me, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it 
just wants to eat you. I am pretty charismatic, you know. Yeah, Alright, what's your AC, Molazar? Uh, my AC? Yep. Your AC? Is 16. Okay, so you are going to take... This much damage. Four. Not bad. Very lucky you. Um, I need you to make a fortitude save. And... Because you know it's a fucking spider. Nicely uh. done. And remind me again what your CMD is. CMD is 15. Alright, and you are tripped. <laughs> Get on the ground, bitch. Because this is, in fact, a wolf fighter. <laughs> oh, boy. Jesus. What the fuck? We've walked into I've the fallen and I can't get up. Kelvin, your turn. Okay, let's see. What have I got here? Um. So I'm going to, uh. I'm going to. stab it at one moment. You say you have a stabby thing of, uh, Slay Wolf? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have any Bane weapons just yet. Vermin Bane. What does it count as for that? Vermin. Huh. Oh, wait, if it's Not a magic, magical beast? Actually, it would be, uh. Uh. Spider. I have spider. Uh. Um, probably Animal Bane, I imagine. Animal well, Bane if it's is Magical pretty Beast, then it's. That'd be Magical Beast Bane, right? Yeah, that's true. That's also pretty broad, isn't it? Yeah. I can't do humanoid bane, I have to do elf hum for human humanoid, bane. Humanoid right. Is the exception to that. They're the only group yeah. that needs to be specific. Because there are so goddamn many of them. Yeah, but things like <laughs> magical beast. A dragon shouldn't be bane by that because sure. it's dragon bane. Yeah, it's. Yeah. yeah. But tell so that this would to have Paizo. to be wolf Dragons have a bane. specific type, don't they? There's a type dragon, right? Yeah, I guess right. so, yeah. Yeah, it's all about the, the type of the creature, not the genus. Paizo doesn't anyway. care, is, is the thing. They only give a shit if it's humanoid. I wouldn't allow it to be wolf bane or spider bane. Or outsiders. Outsiders, outsiders have sometimes. really care True. about right now is whether a 19 hits AC. Oh, and a 19 does hit AC. So take the 9 damage from my glowy spear. <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you for dropping to the ground, Mozart. I might have had to deal with soft cover if you were still there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, exactly the same thing. Hit the deck! <laughs> Alrighty. Is that it? Yep. I will end my turn there. Mozart, you're currently prone in front of a spider who is trying to eat you. <laughs> I will, first of all, stare at him, because I forgot, because it's been a while. You, you're gonna what? Stare. Oh, you're gonna stare at it, okay. Yeah, you know. <laughs> As mesmerists do. In which eye? <laughs> All of them. I, I, at the same time. He goes kind of cross eyed. Yeah. Uh, would I. Can I just cast from down here? Let it hit me, maybe? You'll have to cast defensively, or I'll just let it hit you. Okay, I'll do that. Go for it. Between the Color two spray, number two. <laughs> Between the two, defensively is much easier to check than me. Is what it? is? Yeah, well, it hit. didn't. It didn't hit me, so. Yeah, I'm confident. It's a push. Yeah, he's. No, let's just right. do this. Color so... spray. Boom. Oh damn! What's your AC when you're on the ground? Negative minus four. 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 So what is Twelve. it? Twelve. Oh, just barely. He just barely uh, misses you. He grabs your hair, nips a bit yeah. there, but he misses you. Oh, my hair. <laughs> Please tell so, me things are uneven now. Mesmerists have a special thing where all of these HDs are up by one. Okay. So, three oh. HD or less, it's unconscious. Four... Oh, that sort uh, of... Okay. Let's see if it huh. first. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The so will negate. And it gets a minus. Oh, no fucks no. you Yeah. Your DC's only 15 on that? 
I oh yeah, know. first level spell. Never mind. Disregard yeah. me. You're right. Malik is delaying until after Mercer. Oh, right. Okay. It definitely makes it. Whoops, 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 whatever. What have you done? Nothing. You saw nothing. Mercer, uh, Mercer five foots up and does what Mercer does. Do you hit the thingy? Nope. Sure don't. <laughs> no, we sure don't. What Mercer does. I tried. <laughs> well, I, I tried mean, hard. a good try. Thanks. I still Malik. appreciate uh, now that Mercer is in front of Malik, Malik will attempt his hide check because he can hide behind people, no problem. Okay. 37 versus perception. Oh, Let's find out. Let's find out. I think not. Okay. Okay, and with that, Malik is going to. I've said over and stab a bitch. And if you need me to drag the entire combat over a square so you can get on the other side of it, just let me know. Nah, I know we kind of started here squished. No, nah, it's fine. My character <laughs> doesn't flank. It's not a problem. Okay, I'm just making sure. Um, okay, so. Alright. Let's see. Do we want to make it easier to hit or make him harder to hit us? Harder to hit us. Molazar's kind of getting the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> okay. Only one sounds fine. And uh, if my su stealth was successful, the sneak attack will fly and he'll be flat footed to me. What's that? If my stealth was successful, he will be flat footed to me and the sneak attack okay. damage will apply. Jonathan, may I suggest push to Sorry. Now, yeah, I'm sorry. Muting yourself. Plus two damage. Oh yeah, because uh, uh, eyes. Oh yeah, he's shit. staring. Because it's stuff. Okay. Staring on so many eyes. Didn't we also get uh, flanking thing last session? Pretty sure we did. What? Oh yeah, the uh, mesmerists there. I did. Yeah, he I did definitely plant those. You have those. But don't don't trigger it yet, because I mean he's he is theoretically good. Yeah. Okay. But yes. You and I both have the flanking trick thing that he implanted. Yeah, and he did that while we were in the cart. Yeah. It's a thing, just let it happen. Alright. I remember it happening, so we're good. Good. Alright. Alrighty. So Is that it, Malik? Step any step step? Yep. Yeah. Pepper. Um. I'm gonna cast Evil Eye on it. Okay. So it needs a will save. AO or casting defensively? It's, it's a hex. not a cast, it's a hex. It's a hex. Ah, cool. She can do it in your face if she wants to. Uh, Alright, will save of what? I don't remember, I gotta look it up. It's probably in the 16, 17 range. Half level it's been plus three weeks. Ten plus ten. That level? Uh, nope. Ten plus half my level plus my. Okay, so we're level four. Five. Five. So five. it would be two plus ten plus whatever your int is. Five. So seventeen. Huh. That's right. Okay. So it. Basically, it tracks so with. So your it's staring at Molazar and it's staring at Harper and it's like, damn, all these eyes. Looking at me and all my About eyes. About as eyes. many eyes, just slightly more eyes than it has. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, alrighty. Are you targeting. Yeah, what were you targeting? Oh yeah, which uh, no thing? Huh? Oh, uh, a, um, AC minus two to AC. All right, uh, it withdraws. That. What a bastard. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't attack him up here. <laughs> Does anyone see my shoe? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's stolen. Yeah. Um, so what do you they were made at and the same time as the on, uh, I mean, you could try, but you can only see it. Um, so it gets to there, you guys can still see it. It steps, more steps away, and you guys can no longer see it. 
Okay, yeah. And it flees off. Anybody so. gonna try chasing that thing? <sighs> I was gonna no. reanimate it! Urgh. Well, do I find my shoe? I should have hit Mercer with bull strength and start uh, enlarged person instead of bull strength. Well, uh, fun. judging by the blood stains it's leaving, it's gonna bleed out eventually. Oh, we can try tracking it, right? Let's just keep going. Yeah, it probably has a climb speed. And I totally want to reanimate that thing. I don't. Let's just keep going. I don't believe that thing is the thing that's causing us to not be able to know what the fuck we're doing. I Let's totally want a giant spider belt, though. <laughs> Alright, uh, new plan. Can we Alvin's please use in the, the back. Can, can we, we are no, using the rope. Take point. Thank you. What? Are we going to reorder here? Yeah, I, I'm in front, you're in the back. I thought you said Great. Calden's in the back. Calden. Calden. Oh, Calden's in the back. I heard Paladins. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Can we find a way to make it so that we can all see each other? Um, Malik will forego his stealthing and light his ion stone, providing another torch for the group. And then called, and there we go. And we walk like that. Like that. This seems like a terrible idea, but alright. <laughs> Well, I don't know why I, your ass wants to be up here. Well, the way I put it is you can see this way, right? Right. And you can see that way. And you can see that way. In other so words, from where you're standing... So everybody can see everybody except so Malik and Molazar can see Harper and vice versa. All right, so so yeah, something okay. comes up on the party next time, so you can light. see it. Everyone's got a I've light got... source. Everyone who has a light source, double click your token. Under Aura 1, type in 10. Um, DM has to make it so we can see each other's oars. If you want to do it that way. Dark vision doesn't help now, does it? I don't think it's that dark. Probably not because yeah, it's, it's mist that's blocking. It's not just dark. Yeah, it's yeah, also dark. that. All right, so forget the door nonsense. So, all right, so how are we doing this, boss? Uh, well, all five of you are going to tie yourselves together, and I'm going to keep walking with all of you following me. Okay. Sounds good. I hope that spider comes back. I want to kill it. And Harper, those, <laughs> those lights follow you at uh, 10 feet corners, right? Right. right. Did I find my boot? So what's the way you going? A question for you, babe. What? Sorry, Did what? Did I find my boot? <laughs> oh, yes. You found your boot. It is good. only about 5 feet from you. Good. Okay, let's try and make it to the next encounter quickly so that Mercer still has full strength. <laughs> I mean, I have it for five minutes. Yes, yeah, um, so let's start walking. So you keep walking? Yep. Yeah. Alright, what direction are you walking? Uh, uh, to the west. Orient, the sorry, moment. orient yourself to this map. Use an arrow. This way. Okay. okay. I will keep a wary eye behind me, and I'll Whoop. have uh, dust Wrong also layer. as well. Alright, so you guys wander around for a while. Um, I'm sorry, I mean, I only got one battle map ready. Whatever. And we'll reuse it. <laughs> what? Use exactly. Your imagination when playing D&D? &D? No. See, yeah. you could have, you literally could have just dragged us off of this map and then back onto this map, and we never would have known. Liar. We would have just been like, man, <laughs> more woods, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, well. Still strangely purple. It's dark. I'm trying to show that it's dark. So it's strangely purple. Twilight. Who the fuck is messaging me? Oh. My master. The money's on the rich Frank. guy. No, no, no. My master Frank. Friends want me to come play with them. Oh, your better friends. Gotcha. Yeah, my better, more skilled friends who watch my back and make sure I don't dead kind of people. Mm -hmm. Unlike you guys mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. watch me die from afar and then laugh about it but later, I'm sure. Yes, definitely. So, <laughs> totally so haven't know, tried to suicide it. So yeah, walk in the woods. dark, it's creepy woods. Yeah, it's not like I'm about to exact my revenge or anything to kill you all off. Um, <laughs> anyways, 
you guys keep walking through the woods, you end up walking, um, maybe about four more minutes because I'm feeling generous and nice. Hooray! <laughs> and let's find a good spot for you. Let's put you over here this time. Whoop. This way. Oh, <laughs> <Fuck you don't. laughs> this is where you guys are now. Uh, Fix uh, yourselves. I lost one of your lights. Oh god, time. I'm upside down. What the? Okay. <laughs> we fell into a pit trap. Or one of those, like, pull you up by your legs traps. Spinner traps. Are Bane we moving ultimate. this way now? Sure. We have gone out one side of the map and into the other side of the map. <laughs> not like <laughs> Pac Man. Does. You guys are moving this way on the map now? Uh. This you're is on the jam lair. Oh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> Uh, this I guess is the direction running. you guys are? Yes. This way. This way. No. No. Yes. yes. No. Okay, According to south. the orientation of this map, for you guys okay. to be continuing to go the direction you're going, this is now the direction you're going. Alright. <laughs> now I get in the square. That was our step over a little... There we go. Now I get in the square. What are you doing with your life? He's thinking outside the box. Wow. Alright. Perception checks all around. I don't know why I even roll these. Just not crit. <laughs> even though technically it doesn't do anything. Anyway. Alright, so Malik, as you guys are going, suddenly goes, shh, listen! And Malik can hear a couple of light pitter patters through the forest. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. <laughs> and it sounds like there's some from either side of you guys. And they sound like they might be getting closer. Hey boss, something's out there. Good to know. Man, Malik is gonna kind of push and wedge his way in between Mercer and um, Calden. There you go. And uh, hide in the middle of everyone. <laughs> Pretend he didn't see me. <laughs> I almost never yeah. saw him. I'm gonna jump up for two seconds. So I'm just gonna roll this preemptively. I've just, I've had to pee for like <laughs> 20 fucking minutes and I've been holding it. Okay. Attractive. Because you don't myself. say the same thing all the time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, I'll be right back. Can all I right, get in my color spray? Uh, are you... Color getting color spray? spray? That means that you are already using the spell and you're just holding it? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, before combat, you can't ready an action, and you can't hold uh -huh. a spell that's not a touch spell. Alright. No, I'm not doing that. Interesting. Alright. Although um, I think, like, readying a spell works different than in, like, 5e, where you have to... Concentrate pitter, patter, on it. pitter, patter, pitter, patter, pitter, patter. What are you guys doing? Where's pitter, patter, and coming Which directions were the pitters and patters coming from? Either side. Not behind and not in front, but either side. So, further than 10 feet from Harper and Malazar. Yep. Trade with me, Kelden. With who? <laughs> me, Molazar. Get over there. Okay. That's better. <laughs> pitter patter, pitter patter. Why don't you come out and show yourselves? So, with the aggressive yell, out oh. comes these folks, but because you guys have been prepared, 
Um, there. Oh. Oh. Dive. Oh, yeah. there. Spiders. Are, are these Operation spider Undead Mounts might be back on. <laughs> are these spider wolves? Initiative. No, <laughs> these are wolves. With Anyone bones on their wolves. back. Uh, make a nature check. Nature check? Yeah, nature check. Nature. Nature. Everyone on there now? I don't have it, but just checking. Yeah, no, I don't know shit. Are you sure not planes or praise? Oh, I forgot to click my token. <laughs> They're very oh, valuable which for one are you? 22. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, will their will their pelts bring us good fortune? Not, not initially. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nature, nature. Do they speak you. common? Actually, Harper is able to recognize that these are dire wolves, assuming that she's trained in that. Yeah, yeah I'm trained. I've got a twenty-two here, so. Um, with 21. this. With oh, this you background. got trained. Yes, they are. Dire wolves, and you can ask one question about something about them. What do you? What, what is? If you could know any one bit of information about a dire wolf, what would you like to know? How many hit dice do they have? Wow! Wow! I want to know if I can reanimate. How, how much does question. it cost to reanimate a dire wolf? Uh, they have five hit die. Okay. Oh, cool, that's pretty good. All right. I know they're so, yeah, solid. Two right? to put it's it in a more in-game terms. How much onyx does one need to spend? <laughs> uh, 125 onyx per creature. Yeah, the eight, the uh, 125 yeah. gold pieces worth of it. Yeah, that would be more. Anyway, moving on. What would Harper like to do? But all I know is that they're just wolves. Dire wolves. They're dire wolves. Are they salivating? Everything in here is salivating. Everything in here wants to eat you. Okay, you so are did it, thinking that okay. possibly the trees are salivating because they want to eat you too? Like, you, you don't know. Just everything in here wants to eat you, okay? Just assume it. <laughs> Just in time for wolves. Yep. Dire wolves. Dire wolves. Dire oh, you're going to love getting these guys then. <laughs> I assume they're gonna trip us a bunch. Are these officially large size? Or are they just space weird? Uh, no, they're large size. Okay. So, okay. Harper, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look to the one that's closer to. And keep in mind that you guys can't necessarily see the ones like Mercer actually can't see them. <laughs> uh, just... Malik can't see them. Nope. Do you do this on uh, purpose? <laughs> actually, Molzar can't see them. Calden and Harper are actually the only ones who can currently see these guys. Well, they can't see me either. So and I can only see the ones to the east. Well, they did find you somehow. Okay. They can smell us. Um... I'm gonna tell I'm Mercer sure. that there is one 15, uh, 10 feet to the. So three o'clock. Oh, I just got this. Yeah. Three o'clock. Two o'clock. Well, no, two o'clock is more here. Three you guys anyway. don't have clocks? What the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> I have a clock. Actually. He has a clock. It's like there two oh, on the water sure. clock. Let me just pull out my big fucking water <laughs> clock that's like 50 pounds and tell you exactly where it is. It's over the uh, it, point. It'd be... It'd be... West, North... Sorry. East, Northeast. Okay, so Harper Point. There. So... <laughs> yeah, Harper 20 point. feet that way. Okay. And then I'm going to look at the wolf and I'm going to cast Evil Eye on it. Uh, negative 2 to its attack rolls. Because it's much too close to me. So oh. it needs to make a t 17. We'll save. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And then I'm going to move up. So I'm out of Mercer's way. And then I'm going to... Um, and it has evil eye since it failed. Yep. One round. Her. Nope. Since it failed. Or no. 
It's safe. That, Never mind. A, Blah. I forget that you don't roll with your modifiers. Uh-huh. <sighs> you make me sad, Allie. <laughs> you gave it the negative. <laughs> you gave it the negative on it. It is one saves? Uh, on its attacks. The, the wolf has uh, yeah. saved the effect. I'm pretty damn sure. You sure it wasn't the saves? <clears throat> <laughs> it's too close to me. Okay. And I'm going to move up so that Mercer can get closer to it. And that'll end my turn. Okay. Well, I'm, well, I'm going, good Wolfie. Good boy. Sit. <laughs> Handle animal. Sit, Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I will five foot two here. And you can see it now. Oh, yeah. there it is. And armed with the knowledge that it takes 125 <laughs> gold worth of onyx, I will cast a sleep spell. Because I can do up to 5 HD. Sneaky. Well done. And it will fail. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. And no one's told Mercer that there's one to the left, which is this good. one's asleep! There's still one over here. Fortunately, I was gonna now. say Kelvin can point out. I was gonna say fortunately, now it's the guy's turn. Um, he actually knows it's there. Is it worth? Okay, I'm just gonna stab it. And let the group know it's here, right? How long does it sleep for? Like a minute. Minutes per level. Oh, Five okay. minutes. Unless someone like smacks it and wakes up. That's why you use coup de gras. <laughs> so this one nope, just walks right it. over. Uh, yeah, you don't hit it. But good try. I'm going to then uh, move over here. Oh, er, you no longer see the grid. Okay. Nope, nope, okay, never mind. Hold on. Uh, wait, actually, wait, 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 I can, can see, see the light, so. Yeah, you can see our light blobs, so that's fine. Uh, and Aren't if you're more than five foot stepping, you're going to take an attack of opportunity. Hold on. They have an uh, oh, wait, you guys are tied together. How are you tied together? Uh, Your movement is gonna matter here. Does everyone have rope? Who's in the middle and who's on the ends? So, what I'm, I'm not though. tied to anybody. I told everybody else to tie themselves <laughs> together. I was having no part of that bullshit. Well, let's say there's 20 feet between uh, Kaldin and uh, Malik and 50. Okay, feet instead of moving, I'm going to five foot over here. And that'll end my turn. Okay. All right. Wolf one is going Malik. to take a bite at his. Malik. Oh, sorry. Right, I forgot. I changed it early. My bad. My bad, Malik. I would like to roll a perception to see if I can detect the growl or the stabby, the stab, stab that Kelvin just made. What? I did yell. There's one over here. Okay. Um. So, seeing as how Kaldin was stabbing somewhere to the left, can Malik make a blind throw to the left? Uh, so you'll have I a mean, 50% you could. chance. Yeah, I was gonna that say it is literally blind. And no sneak attack. Yep, I'm aware. Yeah, go for it. Uh. the missed chance in a second. It doesn't matter because you do no damage anyway. <laughs> it takes one non lethal. It, take, it takes yeah. one. I, I know. I'm teasing. But uh, more to the point, it gets his attention. And, uh. and Malak will five foot behind Mercer and try to hide. You should go good across the other wolf. I don't know that's there. I don't know that it's falling asleep. Well, you know it's there now. You can see it now. Okay. And you can see it on the ground sleeping. No, you still can't see it. Oh, right. Pathfinder Fifteen. corners. Yep. Regardless, uh, Malik moves behind Mercer, which is his battle buddy, and tries to hide behind him. That is all. And then the wolf advances, and Mercer's like, It was me the whole time! <laughs> well, I mean, technically uh, they can't you did it. see you right now anyways. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. They did just get hit by a dagger. So Theoretically. So, so Wolfie. 
yeah, let me roll that for percent. Did you, yeah, I was gonna say. Going high. Potential hit. You Potential barely hit. made it. I, I nip its nose. Yep. <laughs> the hilt of it kind of bounces right on its shoulder blade or something. Right. It right. puts out a weird yelp, like, Arr! More like, Arr! A very surprised, confused yelp. Like, I feel like that should have hurt, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> it just glanced off one of his bones. Speaking of, it's Wolfie's turn. Yes. So is it going after me who didn't stab it, or mysterious unknown thing that did hit it with a uh, non, almost non-damaging? You mean the one it can see versus the one it can't see? Yes. No. <laughs> it's, assuming, it's assuming it can't see us all just fine. Yeah. March. Mm-hmm. Alright, what's your That's AC? gonna be a hit. Unless it has a, a 18. Okay, that'll be a hit. Um, so... And then it gets a trip attack. Trip as well, yeah, so... Wait, fucking... God, all these numbers are the same. Alright, so that's how much damage you take. Wow, okay. Hold and... on, damage. I think yeah. uh, my band is not up to date. Hold on. Okay, so my CMD is... It fails. It's, there's no way that your CMD is less than 10. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, that's a... That's, ouch, though. Yeah. Yeah, it bit you really fucking hard, man. And that one is sleeping. Mercer! Uh, Mercer says... You're fucking... still strong. You have about 60 seconds left of your strength, because I'm a nice lady. You are indeed a nice lady. Um, except for your positioning of every fucking enemy ever. Then, not so nice. Uh, Mercer, actually, is probably just going to go straight forward. So that we can then do some five-foot stepping. Uh, says, fuck this wolf in particular. Probably takes an AOO. Uh, Eat a dick. Hold on, what's his range? Okay. Wow, nicely done. Thank you me. hit a thing. I'm so proud of you. I know, right? I'm the best. You are the best. Look at you go. So proud. Ouch! That's like a done? lot of damage. Uh, uh, yes, that's it. That's a moving standard. Is the wolf done? <laughs> no! Yeah, I guess it is pretty tough, so... Uh, you want the thing not to be done, otherwise it's not worth raising. Yeah. <laughs> Upper! Uh... You see a sleeping wolf, you don't see the other wolf. But they've told me, like I'm gonna assume everyone has announced that the other wolf's over here. Yeah, there's been stabbing and snarling and... I'm gonna move this way. Alright, how much how much rope is in between you guys and how much rope did you guys actually have and who's tied to who in what order? Uh, I need to know like what this rope currently looks like. I, I can answer that real quick. Okay. Malik and Calden have 20 feet between them. Calden and Harper okay. have 20 feet between them. Harper and Molazar have 15 feet between them. Hold on, so let me see if I understand this. So there is a rope. That's 55 feet of rope. Here. 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 Here, I'm, I'm gonna write it up. Yes, that's correct. Okay. I just, I need it for me. Okay. Uh, and then I'll call out to Mercer. Do you want it to be easier to hit, or for it to have a harder time hitting you? Uh, a harder time to hit me. Why not? Alright. Evil Eye to minus two to its attack rolls. Mercer doesn't say it like that, though. He says yeah. something more like, I'd like to live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So it needs a will save. Babe, that's you. 
What I do? Roll save. Right, we'll save. I keep forgetting that you don't roll those for me. No. I mean, we can. Oh, it fails. Ooh, it fails. Only if you want right, to so it. Alright, so. It now has a negative two on its attack rolls for eight rounds. Okay. This is not. Yeah, and that'll in return. Alrighty, Mole is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will. Let's see. You could coup de gras that one. I uh, could. Should I? Why not? How much damage can you do on a crit? I don't know. Or if my <laughs> sword came. If you can't kill it, it'll get back up and be angry. Well, don't yeah, forget, yeah. it has a fort save of, like, right, a DC but... 15 plus how much damage he does. Oh, uh, sure, why not? I'll try to coup it. That sounds fun. Okay. This can't regard, possibly regard, go wrong. <laughs> exactly! Regardless of mechanics, would Molazar stab a wolf while it's down? Yeah. That does seem like the kind of shit he'd get up to. Wow! <laughs> okay, hesitantly, but yes, because it's a little too big to fit in the handbag of his mom or whatever. Ah, surprise. <laughs> so, uh, it's a disaster every time. <laughs> so, D6 with no modifiers. So, one Roll it again. It's a crit, so, yeah. So, one more. Roll it again? Yep. yep. So, 10. ten. I gotcha. So, DC 25. No, that, that did not do what it was supposed to do. That was my stabilizer. It's a DC 25, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. It's DC what? 20. Really? I thought it was 15 plus. 10 plus. Oh, alright. DC 20. Port save. Well. Oh. Uh oh. You done yeah, do your friend. Yeah, he's up. <laughs> you waked the beast. Oh boy. Arr. You guys but gave me But he is still technically life. prone. Yes. And if this wolf was armed with any weapons, it would drop them. Its dentures fall out. <laughs> uh, sadly, no. All right. Wait, Skeleton. does the stair does the stair damage F factor in? It should. Ooh, it should. Yes. Any and all damage. Yes. Oh, okay. Because he would get, I'd get a D6 from that also, and plus two from every attack I did. Would that count? Would you get a D6 from it? Because that's how the stair works when I attack them. What, what's okay. the actual name of the stair? I just want to make sure it's not precision damage. Hypnotic stair. Let's see, Mesmerist, Hypnotic... It's a class feature. Yep, yeah, just looking up. That painful stare is the one that causes damage, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right, sorry. Oh, it's a... Time. yeah, it's a stare thing. It's down a little bit further. It's precision damage, so you would get an extra 1d6. Except it's level, so, 2d6? No, no, no. Per 3 class almost. So yeah, and he gets it at first level, so... Oh, yeah. No, I guess you would get an extra 2d6 on top so, of that. So roll 2d6. So this is yes. actually a painful stare? Yeah. Okay. It's just an add-on to his yeah. own thing. Alright, so in that sense. case, he dies. Yeah! So, uh, for your own information, yes. next time you do that on something that you have stared on, it's, um, you roll your own weapon damage twice, and then you'd roll the painful stare once. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's why it was a 2d6 instead of a 4d6, because it's precision damage. Okay. So it's not multiply in grids. That's just for coup de grace, you roll twice. Yeah. So um, coup de gras is a critical hit. Yeah, automatic preci crit. Precision damage yeah. does not crit. So yeah. you're just rolling your regular damage as a crit. So that's a 2d6 from the sword cane by itself. Plus 1d6 for the painful stare. Because it's 2d6. 2D6. Plus 2d6 for the painful stare. Why is it 2d6? Because of its level. 
It scales. So it's a 1d6 for every three levels. So he would have it, like, at level one, it's a 1d6. As soon as he hits level three, it's 2d6. As soon as he hits level six, it's 3d6, so on and so forth. Yes. Got it. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, no problem. Wait a second. I'm not sure that's correct, but we'll go with it. Sorry, that's not... Okay. It deals damage equal to half of his level... And an extra 1d6 for every three class levels. Yeah, so it's it dead. It's dead. Yeah, well, we'll yeah. figure that out later, guys. It's all good. It's dead. It's dead. Is the important part. I did it. Dude, okay. The wolf is dead. <laughs> On my <side. laughs> I am going to five foot, and then I'm going to stab at the wolf. Uh, I guess I don't quite technically flank it. Nope. Uh, nope, not, not yet. Not yet. Unless you want to delay until after uh, me, but you know. But that's a long uh, delay. No, 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 I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Okay, I end my turn. Malik just knows his boss went over to the west somewhere and is just going to move. Oh, hey, boss! And is going to move up behind him and uh, help protect his flank. Thanks. From what? Whatever might attack him. Backbiters. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Wolf. Yeah, no, I was just reading the bodyguard shit that Malik has written in there. Ah, gotcha. Huh, let's grab this guy. Alright. What is your AC, Mr. Mercer? Uh, 24 with that bonus right there. Alright. Don't forget, it's got a negative 2 to his attack. It misses. I got your back, boss. And Thank he's not you. too happy about all your armor. <laughs> Mouthful of steel plate. Basically, yeah. Mercer. Um, Mercer would like to bust out the spray bottle and newspaper on this bad dog. Alrighty. You hit it! Alright. Harper! Misfortune that bitch. Alright, I was being a five foot step as well. Okay. Misfortune that bitch. Oh wait, my bad, I'm confusing it with another one. I mean, it's down and bleeding out on the ground. Okay. Oh. I still... Wanna... Hold on. You're confusing it with what other one? I'm yeah, curious I now. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So this is down and bleeding. Right. Yeah, it's bleeding out. It's dead, mostly. It's unconscious and bleeding on the ground. Um... So Mercer then looks over at Calden and goes, whenever you're ready. Uh, one uh, moment, looking up how much onyx I have. Do I hear anything? No. Nope. Any movement? No. Nope. Okay. I am scared. We should probably get back in formation at this point. I'm gonna... Will walk. these wolves fit in the bags? It's um, kind of assume not. Well, let's worry yeah, about they're large. They won't. Yeah. Well, you guys just have to finish Cootie growing that yeah. thing. Yeah. I just I'm gonna walk forward as I pull out my dagger. I'm gonna okay, I have enough onyx stack. for one of them. I'm gonna Cootie grow. Okay. okay. So here's oh, the first right, one. the Cootie grow, of course. In the second roll. That is hilarious. Five oh, gold five. Pages. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should be 15. Yeah, I type in that. It makes its fort save, but it's still unconscious and damaged. Okay, that ends my turn. That was kind of rude. I tried. If Molazar not... is not going to come over, I will finish it off. You don't know what's over here. I'm gonna come over and finish it off. Two kills. Actually, hold on. Oh yeah, just barely, okay. 
<laughs> I was looking at that too. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, you know, you know what, Molazar, you're kind of tripping over some rope there. Like. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does that mean? That means it just that... means that you guys are all tied up, and <laughs> it's a clusterfuck of rope. And I'm telling you to watch your step because you're getting ready to are get we tangled. Entangled? You're about to be if Molazar oh, starts crossing lines. I'll just come over here and look then. Alright. Stare at it. Then. Stare at, I'll stare at, at it. Yeah. And yeah. Stab it in the throat. Good job. I uh, just roll your damage. <laughs> yeah. You don't even need to coup de gras. It's it's fucking dead, yeah. Plus two. It's it's dead. It it doesn't matter if it makes its fort save or not. So it's dead. Oh, we're playing the stab stab the wolf game. <laughs> <laughs> no, All we're right. playing the shove onyx in the wolf game. Not this one, use the other one. The one uh, I took care of, right. I say, is I shine a button with my sleeve. So, why that one, not this one? Because After noticing sentimental reasons. How much of a clusterfuck the rope was, Harper's gonna untie herself. Yeah. Mercer okay. just looks Same. over at Harper and goes, and that is why I didn't get tied up with all of you. <laughs> but sometimes you have to let children learn on their own. She'll just give them the finger. That's what I do with you all the time, honey. Yeah, exactly. Alright, and all then right, honestly, other wolf has a neater wound. We'll use that. Sure, fine. You guys spent so much time at the beginning of this game. Yeah, we're Is it that time? We're making we're arcane working. marks. <laughs> yeah, the, well? the next encounter, although I might be able to do it in 40 minutes, I would rather not find out that I can't. Um, just because I know you guys as a party, and you guys really, really think about things and stuff. <laughs> a lot, for a long time. Things and stuff. She's not I, wrong. I am very, uh... Overthink things sometimes. <laughs> like paranoid? the Arcane Marks. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yes, you, you overthought. Everybody <laughs> overthought. I was gonna okay. pipe in and be like, guys, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But I mean, you were having fun, so who am I to stop that? Well, I thought maybe we were walking around in circles. No, no circles. I wanted to burn it down. We you just, tried. We just can't <laughs> see outside of ten feet. You guys really need to be fireproof. It solves a lot of problems. <laughs> I'm still a little uh, concerned about the fact that that one mark disappeared. What do you mean, one mark? The one that, that yeah, wasn't there math. when they walked yeah. past it. Did you not do the math to see which one it was? Okay. Which one it was. So, before we move on, I'm going to take a brief moment to prepare my remaining second level spell as Remove Paralysis. Okay, so 15 minutes. If that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Sit With around. the party. Like. Enjoy, enjoy a break. Yeah, so I'm going to do that, since uh, Harper, you still don't have haste, right? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, so I will uh, get that going, and then I will turn But do you really intact... want to do a zombie rather than a skeleton? Well, can you ride a skeleton? Yes. Be a rough ride. There's all sorts of <laughs> skeletal horses and stuff in the game that people I mean, ride. That's true. I, um, I accept it as a rideable thing anyway. It's like, fuck it, I don't care. It looks so fucking rad. Throw a blanket on its ribcage and go. It will be fuzzy. Uh, yeah, turning it into a bloody wolf... Uh, a bloody skeleton wolf would probably be better. Yeah, the only reason okay, I say that so is because that's... I'm so attached to necromancers. Be before you do, I appraised the fucking wolf earlier. <laughs> How much is it help going to give us? Yeah. Uh, we, can, uh, we can skin it first if you want. <sighs> I don't know. Go look it up. <laughs> I'm dying. I can't do this anymore. I need this game to wrap up. My throat okay. is killing me. Just okay. Bring the wolf back. Uh, I think when I turn it into a skeleton, like everything sloths off, right? So. Yeah, basically. You just pick it up off the ground. It's disgusting and gutty, but. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, it would have been like smell. that if it had been, you know, 
Anyway, I can just barely... Because uh, if it's five hit dice and I turn it into a bloody skeleton, that's five times two is ten, which is what I can control with a single casting. Cool. And how many HD are you at total? Uh, the other two are counting as two each. Okay. So that's four. Wait, aren't they bloody and humans? Aren't they just human yeah. skeletons? Then they only count as bloody. one. Yeah, but they they're bloody, count so they count as two. Double? They only count as double for the precipice of actually raising them. Once they're raised, oh, they go back to counting as well, normal. Well, then I'm HD. only at seven. Seven okay, hit perfect. dice for control. Good. Are you going to r- ride a bloody wolf around? Uh, if he doesn't, I will. <laughs> <laughs> you act like this is not the greatest shit. <laughs> <laughs> I could get fire resistance and turn it into a burning wolf, but this seems more practical, if a little messier. I like the burning wolf idea. <laughs> I mean, if we didn't initially yell to the paladins, hey, look at me? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We might have to, like, smush it and put it in the extra dimensional bag. You're poor creatures. It's dead. It's not even just dead, it's undead. They have emotions. I was gonna say, what kind Not of are you? You don't care for your own pets. Man, Sophia loved Doot Doot. Yeah. Alright, so, Slithers. uh... Yeah. Nah, not really. Bloody Bam. Hey, you Done. used to ride a, ride a Mr. Slither's rich. I Remind me, I'll find you a token for it. Um... Okay, I'm gonna... I'll, between sessions, I'll make the character sheet for the second wolf. Yeah, do you need a character sheet for it, or do you... No, you have... I have I have an Undead 2 right okay, now. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm just using the same sheet for the other skeletons. Yeah, and perfect. I just wanted to make sure we were all good. The... Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah. we can give them, like, weapons and stuff? Yeah, they're proficient with whatever they were found in. So if they were found using a tower shield, it means it's proficient with a tower shield. <laughs> <laughs> um, otherwise, well, these were the two... light and simple weapons. Huh. Were these the guards or the bandits? I think these were the bandits, weren't they? They were the bandits. Yeah, no, they were the guards. No, 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 no. They were the 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 guards. Oh, okay. They were the yeah. guards then. So they're proficient with light, the light armor and simple weapons. Gotcha. Give them both a spear. There's some leather armor on them. I suggest investing in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get them. We'll we'll just get a bunch of hats of disguise. There you go. I can take oh, care God. of their disguises. That's kind of creepy. They'll look fabulous. Awesome at the same That's time. an awesome picture. Oh my. Are these bloody skeletons? Yeah. All of them, yeah. Might have a better one for you. I like how we're all just standing there watching him do this. It yeah. actually only takes like a standard action, so. When yeah, but you well had to designed, prep it for 15. You oh no, you didn't. I didn't, didn't since it's making it Whoever's playing that. When it comes to powering your home, son. That's me, actually. Never mind. Bad websites. <laughs> bad, bad websites. <laughs> Mark almost blamed one of us for something he did. I'm not used to that because I'm usually very good at that. But. Whatever. <laughs> We've got another person watching. Hi, person. Greetings. Dragon's Castle. Holy shit, people actually watch us. <laughs> yeah. Because they totally didn't bribe Owl. Not at all. <laughs> the Owl cast was, uh, was rooting for the spider. <laughs> He was wanting the spider to hump Mozart's leg. <laughs> there we go. Good old Imger. Bloody skeletal wolf. Yep. Oh. That's oh. gross. Oh my. And people wonder why undead are evil. <laughs> it's not evil. It's just it's misunderstood. misunderstood. 
<laughs> it just wants to be loved. Um, you cannot love my wolf, okay? That just is too creepy. I mean, uh, its appearance is only skin deep. We're, we're Get out. It, no, it's not. It is literally not skin deep. Okay, the puns have started again. We're winding down, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I... Yeah, because we weren't going to do the next thing, so... Okay, okay, so everyone thank the Owlcast and Dragon's Castle for joining us tonight. Thank, thank you, you thank you. Thank you, people. Watching thank you, thank you for people watching People who us. Mark said with the funny puns and stuff. And thank you, Allie, for giving us another night of entertainment. Absolutely. Tune in on Halloween to see me in a Playboy bunny costume. <laughs> <laughs> to be determined. You know, <laughs> has to pass the oh, censors. come on. <laughs> She's going to wear it, nonetheless. It's just a matter of fair. whether the camera will be on. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, and we'll yeah, and I'll put my camera on. No shame. I'm cute. I'm pretty. <laughs> on a side note, Good I, do, deal. I do recommend that everyone would follow Owlcast if you're ones to watch Twitch. It's a very awesome streamer. It's out in Japan. But does he shoot things? Uh, he plays all sorts of games, actually. Also, uh, wait, hold on. Which language am I looking for here? Nichiwa. He speaks Japanese and German and English. Oh, oh I assumed he spoke English. Considering he sat here and made puns at me all night. <laughs> yeah, no, Al Alcas is I have a special cool. he's, connection with him. He's got his own band. He lives <laughs> in Japan. He's spent some time in Germany. He's a cool guy. Wow, fanboy harder, Mark. Fanboy harder. Oh, I'm trying to spread the love. You just need to squeal. You just need to squeal now. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Senpai can't noticed me. Boob. I'll get him to sign my Senpai. boob. It'll be great. What days do you, uh, you three, not have a game? Together. Never. Which three? 